What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the trailer for Season 4, some updates on Modern Warfare 2, plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as an update, for those out there that saw my previous video talking about the Vondel soundtrack, which accidentally leaked out, the music has now been DMCA'd off of the internet, and the pre-order page that actually highlights the soundtrack also got taken down. So yeah, we could say at this point, that was the official track for our upcoming Warzone map in Season 4. I didn't play the music in a previous video either, because I don't want to get a copyright claim but with that being said that's an official update for our upcoming soundtrack that we'll be hearing in season four and like i said before call of duty never misses when it comes to music but right now is a bit of the calm before the storm since we're about to get heaps and heaps of marketing for our fourth season probably this upcoming wednesday we'll end up getting our roadmap reveal a blog post and other information and then this thursday is going to be summer games fest as we'll talk about in a couple of minutes but i know things have been a bit quiet in the call of duty scene the past couple of weeks but trust me when i tell you june is going to be a crazy crazy month but don't forget you can also use code dynamite to save money off of any slot Sly order, their link is down below. Sly is a drink of the future offering a healthy alternative to energized and caffeinated drinks after a long gaming or content creating session. With more flavors to be released later, the current chill flavor is meant to relax you, not get your heart racing. But yes, this finally puts an end to your mom yelling at you for drinking sugary drinks while you're gaming with the boys. Now there will also be times in the future where code Dynamite Bogo can be used for exclusive promos and buy one get one 50% off type deals. I'll keep you guys updated when those promos do begin, but be sure to check out Sly with the link down below in this video's description. First off, we're seeing this report here from Charlie Intel that may mark the lowest month numbers of players on Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 on Steam since the game's launch. While Steam represents the smallest size of the player base, Activision continues to lose PC players over lack of actual gameplay changes. But then they followed up by saying the problem with Call of Duty is that while a lot of us are upset with the state of the game, the MTX sales continue to perform at a very high pace, which leads the developers to make fewer changes. Black Cell apparently has sold very well for Season 3. Now, of course, Charlie Intel has their own sources to the studio, but if they're hearing that Black Cell sold well, you can bet your ass that we're going to be seeing a Black Cell bundle in every season moving forward, and that will be essentially the new Battle Pass bundle that'll cost 30 US dollars, and it's going to be replacing the original $20 Battle Pass bundle that we saw added into games like Modern Warfare 19, Cold War, and even Vanguard. Now, as of right now, we have three operators rumored for Season 4. One of them is Nikto, returning from Modern Warfare 19, who might end up being the highlight of the season, similar to Ronan in Season 2, and then we also have somebody named Heather, who might be based off somebody in real life. It's just a bit unclear, and then we also have Hadir, who apparently may be unlockable by completing the fourth episode of Raids. If we're getting another Black Cell bundle, then I'm curious what kind of interesting alternative outfits we'll end up getting for these three characters and some of the other operators that we already have inside of COD 2.0. Leave your best bets on the theme of Season 4 down below. Looking at how Vondel has a bit of a blue theme or just based on that soundtrack cover, then maybe we're going to have some type of blue twist on a lot of our operators in comparison to the gold twist we had with Black Cell in Season 3. But obviously, it's that time of the year again where the player base does dip a little bit for the current Call of Duty and then momentum will start building back up for the franchise again whenever the new Call of Duty gets announced, whenever there's a beta for that game, and then, of course, the launch window will have the most amount of players. But like I always say, right, looking at just the player numbers on Steam alone or, or Twitch stream numbers, that won't determine if a game is dead or not, but I think everybody is aware that when it comes to the COD cycle, it, it's common for the player base to dip at this time in the year, and I think especially considering the feedback that wasn't listened to from Modern Warfare 2, a lot of people are upset, but as we see every single year, people will always come back for the new Call of Duty title and will try out whatever the next developer has in store for us. But I also wanted to bring this up because I see a lot of people out there thinking that if a YouTuber makes a video or if a big creator makes a tweet, you know, boycotting the game or talking about MTX, it's going to really make a difference. And it really doesn't. I mean, a lot of the casuals don't watch YouTube content. They don't go on Twitter. They're not on Reddit. So the MTX can continue selling very well inside of Call of Duty moving forward. And that's just the way it's going to be. The casuals dominate the player base. And for those out there that weren't a fan of the DMZ pay to win bundles or the Black Cell pack or whatever else, if all that keeps selling well, those kind of packs are going to keep releasing. It's really that simple. And that's the way the business works. But yesterday, we got the official times for the Summer Games Fest. As confirmed here over on Twitter, you can watch Summer Games Fest live starting at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, and 9 p.m. CEST from YouTube's theater with SGF events continuing all weekend long. Now, I will be live here on the channel this Thursday, going ahead and reacting to all the panels during Summer Games Fest. I always love going live and reacting live with you guys to all the trailers and any of the cool announcements. But something that's really interesting here is they put out a little bit of a snippet of Summer Games Fest just a bit of a promo video and in that video we get a shot of Valeria from season three so we already knew Activision was attending Summer Games Fest according to the list of all attendees as you can see on screen we just weren't sure what they were going to be presenting 
during Summer Games Fest. I mean, there was theories going around they could reveal the logo for, let's say, Modern Warfare 3, the new Call of Duty coming this fall, or considering that the event is a couple days before the launch of Season 4, they'll end up showcasing some gameplay for our fourth season. Well, the fact that Valeria was shown in this little snippet definitely confirms that Modern Warfare 2 is going to have some marketing of sorts during this live stream, and you can bet it's either the cinematic for Season 4 or possibly even a gameplay trailer. Now, considering the fact that a new Warzone map is reportedly dropping at the start of the season on June 14th, I'm going to guess that we'll probably get our gameplay showcase for Vondel, the new Warzone map, during the Summer Games Fest. That just makes the most sense. And like we typically see with other Call of Duty seasons, we'll get a bunch of marketing on Wednesday, the exact week before the start of the season with, again, a blog post, roadmap, some other tweets. And then we end up getting our gameplay trailer usually on like Friday or maybe the following Monday, a couple days before the launch of the season again. And then usually around Tuesday's time, we end up seeing a preload on PlayStation. You get a Battle Pass blog post, a Battle Pass trailer, and other marketing as well. So it does line up to end up getting a Vondel trailer uh, probably this Thursday, and then we'll get some other marketing for the rest of the season over the duration of the weekend and just the days before the launch of the season itself. So I'll say at this point, there's a chance that one of three trailers does get shown during Summer Games Fest. I mean, unless they do a hybrid trailer showing everything, I think one, there's a chance of seeing the intro cinematic for season four, two, a general gameplay overview of the entire season, including parts of multiplayer, DMZ, and Warzone, prize snippets of Vondel, or three, we just get a Vondel focused gameplay trailer, since again, that's going to be our brand new resurgence map coming in season four according to recent rumors by the press. Now, if you're looking for any camel grinding assistance for Polyatomic or even Orion, you can hit up Cod Peter for the best tips. His link is down below in this video's description. Now, I saw an interesting tweet that got posted a couple of hours ago suggesting that we might have already played in a map that's close to Vondo, or at least parts of it here in multiplayer. So apparently the Breenberg Hotel is based on the Conservatorium Hotel, which is actually right in the area of Vondo Park and right next to the new museum point of interest. So that's interesting because maybe the Breenberg Hotel could be visible inside of Vondel or possibly even a playable space. That would be interesting. But if this is the case, then it does tell you that, yeah, things were planned many, many months in advance to do a little small scale resurgence map taking place in Amsterdam or the Netherlands, I should say. And the fact that that's close to an existing multiplayer map probably means that, yeah, when they had that multiplayer map in development, they also were thinking, hey, we're also going to do a Warzone map at some point that takes place maybe a couple of miles away from where this map is. And that would be really cool if that's the case. But again, we'll have to wait and see the official TAC map whenever the marketing does begin for this experience and also as a reminder too i mean shoot house takes place in las almas so whenever we get our las almas battle royale map probably with the integration of Modern warfare 3 shoot house should be a point of interest inside of that br map unless they change the layout a little bit but the fact that we've gotten a lot of points of interest inside of uh, big Warzone maps, and we got those point of interest added into multiplayer. It just tells you we'll be seeing the same spaces used across different game modes. Now, something that you guys probably didn't know about is that there was a cool infill animation inside of old school Black Ops 2 from 2012, and I actually never knew about this, but apparently these were infill animations for some of the strike missions, and maybe some of them were left in the game. I just can't remember. It's been so long, but the fact that some of the newer CODs like Modern Warfare 19, Cold War Vanguard, and now Modern Warfare 2 have brought in infill animations has me thinking that this is something that does probably want Wanted to add in some very old games but because of some memory issues they probably couldn't or just because of some time constraints who knows what the deal was there but i'm definitely a fan of the info animations especially allowing you to showcase who your operator is right what customization you added to that character what weapon you're holding i love the info animations hopefully they do come back in every call of duty to come but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on the updates in regards to our trailer and marketing for season four plus everything else we discussed really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody